What is up guys, welcome back to another Ashen Briar production and today I'm going to be showing you this AM FM Capello Long Clock. So this is the Capello AM FM alarm clock and the reason I got this was quite simply because it was the cheapest alarm clock I could find at Target and I just wanted a cheap alarm clock. I just wanted something that would go off uh, when I needed to wake up and it just so happened this had a radio built into it with AM FM radio which is I'm not using that at all because it's crappy but I do use it for like the alarm sound instead of the alarm I have it just playing music when it goes off and that's quite nice because sometimes that alarm can get annoying so instead you wake up to a different sound every day which I like that a lot better than listening to the annoying bell every morning so they do give you about three foot of cordage so you can plug in your outlet and then run it about three foot if your outlet isn't right by your bed so that's nice um it does have an antenna in the back which i just have coiled up i think this is about two foot so you could actually like tape this up behind a bed frame or something so you get better signal but i just leave it coiled up behind the clock because uh, i don't need it to have a good station come in because i'm not using the radio really um the snooze button's right in the front like most alarm clocks it's pretty big um i kind of find it where i'm actually accidentally hitting these buttons and then i'll accidentally shut off my alarm sometimes so you just gotta be a little careful about that and yeah um it does have a battery compartment under here um so you take this lid off right here and you put two triple a's in it and if the power would go out or somehow this alarm clock would come unplugged it will hold the time and remember everything so when you plug it in it's like the same everything's the same as how you had it so the time doesn't get messed up so that's pretty nice um so if you want to turn on the radio you just click the power button right here and that plays the radio you can change the station by clicking here as you can see here and then you can adjust the volume and then you, I think it goes up to 16 so that's pretty nice and then to turn it off you just click the power button again and then it shuts off um, so if you want to set your alarm this is kind of tricky like I had to look in the instructions a few times just to figure this out because it is confusing to set an alarm you're going to press and hold the alarm button now it's going to show this now you're going to click the hour button and this is only going to ch change the hour so you're going to click until the time you want but if the light is lighting up down here by the p.m that means it's only set for p.m so you gotta make sure it's set for a.m and to make sure that's happening is this light won't be lit at all over here so that's how you know it's an a.m time so you click say if you want to be up at 6 a.m you're gonna have to go through until the p.m light goes out and you're gonna click it at six and then to adjust the minutes you just go one minute at a time adjusting through here and once again it doesn't it doesn't have to be am or pm because the hour is what it goes off of so you can adjust it all the way like that and then to you click the alarm button again and now it's going to be set to what you want it to be neither radio or the chime so you're going to click out the hour button and it's going to adjust that for you so it's going to be radio or chime radio is the top light and then chimes the second bottom light then you're going to click it again now this is going to be adjusting the um the sound of how oh like how um quiet the alarm is like the volume level so you can go all the way up to 16 this is time, so that's why it keeps going up. So it can go all the way up to 16. And I had it at... Yeah, use the hour button. I had it at 16, but I found that to be too loud, so I have it down at 10. So 10 is good because I'm really hard to get up, and 10 will wake me up. So that's pretty nice. And then um, once you go through the hour buttons again, then it goes to normal time. Um, so if you want to change it to PM radio... You're going to turn on the alarm clock. No, I meant FM. So then this is FM, which is not really any good station. It's on FM. 
Um, there's only like one good station it comes to on this because I have that antenna coiled up. So that's why that, that I only have it for the station. Um, the speaker's in the back. It's pretty big. That's why this alarm clock's so loud. But like I said, the music quality sucks because there's no bass whatsoever. So yeah. But that's about it for this alarm clock. It's quite simple, cheap, and so far it's been lasting a month and if it lasts a couple years, I'll be fine with that. It's the cheapest alarm clock that you can find at Target. There'll be a link down in the description. So if you like this alarm clock and you want to get it for yourself, you can go down there and get it or just go to Target. So that's it for this video. Like, subscribe, and see you on the next one.